Hi guys, so um, we decided to go to Walmart because we needed to get a fan for the house because it's hot as fuck. <laughs> um, it's like 106, almost 110 degrees outside and it's just too hot. Like, And we have the swamp cooler. If you guys don't know what a swamp cooler is, it's basically like an AC but it doesn't pump out as much cold air when it's humid and also it's a cheaper alternative instead of AC but I'm looking at Marshalls right now and it just occurred to me that I could be looking at home decor now because we should soon be moving into the house. <sighs> I'm so excited. I could buy my first picture frame. I could buy my first wall art. They just have so much stuff. It's just makes me happy and I could buy like pillows and side tables and lamps and uh, kitchen stuff. It makes me so happy and excited. Can I say, can I say I am so excited? to be doing the home decor. I can't wait. I get to freaking actually look for home decor. I want a gold one. This thing gold. Life is good. That's actually a good shirt. So why are you buying a shirt again? Because I decided to dry the t-shirt I have on inside the house. Yes, and what did that do? It just developed a slight smell. Oh, a cute. slight smell? Yeah. Isn't that cute? What is that? Two brush holders. Oh, that is cute. A slight smell. Like, literally, I could smell that thing from here <laughs> if he's a mile away. Doesn't smell good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad he's buying another shirt because we were going to go to Walmart and he wanted to stop by to get a shirt. pan set when we move in and this one looks pretty good oh well this isn't the brand I want but 16 pieces for 60 bucks and it's originally a hundred dollars I actually want that brand Cuisinart oh look at this babe oh this is cute look at this old school fan it's yeah. so cute. Do you see those lights? <laughs> too much. So, Home Depot didn't have the fan that we wanted. And Walmart doesn't have the fan, but... <laughs> might I say, <laughs> this shit feels so good. <laughs> on this aisle for like five minutes already. It was so good. Hi guys. So me and Irving just got mm. done watching Eddie the Eagle and it was such a good movie. Probably one of my favorite movies that I've seen in a while and of course it was Irving's pick. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, it was such a good movie. It was like so inspirational and just so awesome. But it's with Hugh Jackman. So definitely check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, and let me know your thoughts on it if you guys have seen it. I'm going to read you the synopsis. It's the story of Eddie Edwards, the notoriously tenacious British underdog ski jumper who charmed the world at the 1988 Winter Olympics. Oh, you want to break them the news? The bad news? I'm just kidding. Um, so, we are not... I know I told you guys that we were going to move in this weekend. And that is not going to happen. Um, plans have been pushed back. And hopefully soon. Um, I'm not going to give an exact 
date because that never works out obviously but hopefully soon uh i will definitely let you guys know but it'll probably be when we actually move in and when i you know am actually <laughs> in the house so yeah hi guys today is monday and we got the word that we will be moving in this saturday um hopefully it's solid i'm pretty sure it is because uh irving's mom actually asked for the deposit uh so we are going to give the deposit on saturday and also move in uh because they have to put the house that irving's in now um the realtors are gonna come and look at it i'm just gonna work on my closet for now i have like a whole bunch of shit that i need to clear out of my closet so think that's what I'm gonna do today um I'm not really gonna pack all my stuff because obviously I'm not gonna be able to get it done all today um but I will be packing like the stuff that I'm gonna keep at my dad's and a majority of it is gonna go to the other house that you know stuff that I use on a daily um so yeah, it's just going to be really like crazy because uh, I have work um, all this week and it's eight hour shifts and I'm just going to be so tired that come Saturday, I'm not going to be, able, <laughs> I'm not going to freaking want to do anything. But I have to sell like a whole bunch of stuff too, like a whole bunch of clothes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I know of this site where you can you can go online and people can actually buy your clothes online in the u.s i think or i might just sell it locally because we have like this website this local website where you can like post pictures of the clothes and they can buy it so i think that's what i might do i don't know we'll see if you guys know any websites let me know down below because i need to sell my clothes asap I wanted to show you guys, um, in this box, I kept all my graduation stuff, and I, I didn't even use half of it. Like, I got picture frames and stuff for gifts, and I didn't even, like, put pictures in it, but I wanted to show you guys my cap and gown. So, this, well, my cap. <laughs> this is my cap that I decorated for a graduation. It looks so cool. It says, keep calm and just graduate, and then, um... 2012 was the year that my mom actually passed away so i put rest in peace mom and i put class of 2012 ooh, ooh. the video was probably on my other channel my graduation video and i hardly use that channel anymore i use it just to watch youtube videos uh i don't really post on there but that's where my graduation video was 2012 was a really tough time because that's when i literally missed like three weeks of school because i went to north carolina to visit my mom and stuff and it was so hard for me to graduate because i missed so much stuff and i had to talk to a counselor and all that it was a really tough time but a really awarding time because i got to actually graduate i also have my diploma i don't want to show you guys like the the outside of it but yeah i just got picture frames i got like this book that i didn't even use um yeah i don't know i just and i got like the invitations and all that too i would not go back if i had the chance to go to high school again like i hated high school because it was like pointless busy work and i don't know i just feel like i wasn't really myself or i couldn't be myself in high school and also i was kind of forced to um to be friends with the people that i was friends with just because i didn't have anyone else to hang out with i was kind of forced to um i was kind of forced into that group and i didn't really like the group i didn't have anything um similar with the people that i hung out with in high school um so yeah if i could i would change a lot of things about high school but i'm just glad that that is behind me because now i am myself i am the person that i want to be i like the people that i hang out with any people that are still in high school do not care what people think i know it's so hard but i cared so much about what people thought and i'm like what the hell these people don't pay my bills these people don't make me happy just think about it like that <laughs> so uh, in middle school actually because 
before high school, I lived with my mom in North Carolina, and then I moved to my dad's. And I just took, like, all the stuff that I could possibly take because it was basically just bags of stuff. And I think we mailed a couple of boxes, but that was it. Most of my stuff was left in North Carolina. So I didn't take that much stuff, but the stuff that I did take, I wanted to keep because that was the only memory I had. In middle school, I used to keep, like, these tattoo things to decorate my locker. And these tattoos are pretty dope. Like, I would still collect these to this day. But they're, like, so awesome. These are so cute. Like, I would still collect these. I'm so glad I found them because I think I was, like, trying to look for them. But I also found my mom's um, cards that were given to me at her funeral. So yeah, I w I've been trying to look for these for like the longest time because I wanted to keep them with me. Um, but yeah, and then it just has her picture on the back. And yeah, I'm glad I found these because I was like looking for these everywhere and I, s and I got like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Can we talk about when belts used to be hella in? Like, look at this, got a Filipino belt. <laughs> Man, I used to have so so many belts in middle school. I used to rock them all the time. Different designs, everything. Like that used to be my accessory. Ugh, so ugly, so embarrassing. So these are the belts that I'm talking about. I used to have this one, this one, and this one. I actually like this one. It was the California one, it has Grand Canyon, all of that. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right, this is when I was in um, middle schools. All right, got done going through all my clothes, and believe it or not, these hangers were filled with clothes, but I think it looks more organized now, and these are most of the clothes that I wear. So, yeah. Um, some of them that are of, like, good quality or ones that I've only worn maybe a handful of times I am going to be selling and the rest which I put in the garage they are actually going to go to my stepmom's family in the Philippines she likes to um send those balabayang boxes is that how you say it I don't know but she likes to send those um like my old clothes and stuff in the Philippines and she's been doing it for a while uh, so I think that would be awesome. I cooked some salmon, which I'm about to eat right now. Oh, and I also got $5 from a girl that wanted my backpack. <laughs> um, hopefully people messaged me back because I did post pictures of my Hollister shirts. These are the ones that I'm actually going to try to sell. So hopefully they sell. Um, because those are the ones that are kind of pricier. And I'm also going to sell these too. Um, these don't fit me anymore. Uh, they're, I think they shrunk or something, but they can totally fit people that are smaller. Um, it just doesn't hug me in the right places. So I'm selling this one, this one, and then I have a black one. And I'm also selling my, uh, where is it? My overalls. These don't fit, but these were so cute. These were like my favorite. All right, um, it is 7.43 p.m. and I made $20 today, which I'm super happy about. Most likely, I'm gonna go shopping soon because <laughs> I throw out so many clothes that I need to fill in my closet and that's just how it goes. So hopefully, um, I could get rid of most of the clothes that I want to sell. <sighs> been a crazy crazy day i still have a lot of clothes to situate i still have to go through this dresser and figure out what to give away okay guys so i had work earlier today i work at eight hour shifts and i'm so exhausted my legs hurt so bad but uh this week uh we get to move into the house uh Irving is actually unloading his stuff right now. I'm here at the house right now and it looks so freaking good. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys around. I'm so happy. Um, it's just crazy to me that it happened so quick. Uh, so yeah. So 
It's pretty small, but this is the living room. As you can see, Irving's mom was nice enough to let us borrow like the table. She brought the tables. Oh, she brought a fan. We're probably gonna have to give that back, but that's our box fan. Um, and then she, you know, kind of uh, decorated a little bit. I might change the pictures, I don't know, but I think it looks so awesome. And then these curtains are so pretty. The curtain rods are pretty. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So this is a living room. It's a pretty good size, you know, it's just for two people. And then you have the kitchen. Um, I'm so excited. They got a new fridge. Oh my God. There's muffins in here. But yeah, um, they bought a new fridge for us. They have a new microwave for us. Oh my God. This microwave's awesome. That's cool, it has two. It has the shelf. And then we have the oven. Holy crap. It has so many burners. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, is there a light anywhere? Oh, there it goes. There's a, is this a burner? I think there's a burner right here. That's so cool. And, oh yeah, she was telling me about this. This is for pizza, and then this is just a regular oven. And then we have the cabinets, which are so pretty. They used to be like this light brown color, but they painted it. So this is kind of like a, I don't know, bluish gray almost and then white the sink is freaking awesome i love these sinks yeah and they brought like they bought like all new appliances too oh wait my favorite part the dishwasher let's check this out oh so pretty i love it this is gonna be like my favorite thing in the world oh and then um irving's niece actually painted that which is cute. Got some shelves. So let's check out the bathroom. They actually decorated the bathroom as well. Freaking awesome. I love this. I love this bathroom. This is something that I won't change. We got the cabinets. Oh, we got a V now. And then we got this mirror. This sink is so cute. I like this sink a lot. I like how it has like a so much storage space, you know? This shower curtain is awesome. And this is, oh crap, the bathtub's so nice. The bathtub's really nice. Yeah, Irving's seen it before. This is my first time ever seeing it. I love the shower. So many switches aren't working. Cause there's no light. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> and so this is kind of like the hallway-ish. We have the swamp cooler. And then we have cabinets right here. Uh, cabinets. They probably have to fix that or something. And then we have this room. So if I go back, this is going to be... Which one's our bedroom and this one? This one's going to be our bedroom. And then this one is going to be where my shooting videos will be. And it's a pretty awesome size. And I like that there's a big window because I need that. But yeah, it looks eight. You're so silly. Have you seen the microwave? <laughs> Look how nice. The microwave is so nice. Shut up. What, these are cabinets? Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, let me show you guys the garage. Is there a light in the garage? No. Oh. This is big enough for two cars. Dang it, I can't really show you guys. I love it. I'm excited. Yeah, so I'll probably um, move my stuff in later in the week because that's the only time I will have time. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to also mention hardwood floors i love them and then the carpet it's really nice the hardwood floors my fave 
All right, we made it back and I cooked some chicken pot pie. This stuff looks so good. I'm excited to try it. It has chicken, carrots, celery, onions, garlic, and then I put like the biscuit, bisquick um, pancake mix. I got it from a tasty video. Don't mind that, I <laughs> tried some, but it came out really good. I'm excited to try it. Hi guys, so I worked an eight hour shift today and I'm freaking tired. So the house that Irving has been living at, we have, well he had to clear it out because um, tonight is the last night we're gonna be spending in this house because the realtors are going to check out this house tomorrow so everything has to be out of the house and cleaned. And Irving did such a good job. All we have to do really is get some stuff and move it to the other house and move his mattress to his sister's. And we're gonna bring my bed over to that house and hopefully um, stuff that I use like on a daily. Oh, and my dad said that we could use his truck too. Yeah, and it was so funny because he bought like paint already and brushes and shit. I'm like, damn, you ain't wasting no time trying to freaking paint the house. It is. <laughs> nighttime already we did a lot um we moved my bed we moved my desk my um my chair and we moved some irving stuff and it's just been an exhausting day oh that's it irving okay irving just got back from the other house but yeah it's just been an exhausting day um for eight hours and then freaking moved all this stuff and i still have so much more to move which i probably won't do until like monday because that's the only day i get off so yeah crazy crazy day and irving had a crazy day too because all he was doing all day was moving so yeah um we aren't going to have internet until i think wednesday so, um, most likely if I need to upload or anything, I'll probably go to my dad's to do it. Um, and I don't live far away from my dad's either. Other than that, probably going to call it a night. Um, I have work tomorrow. Um, not that long, but I want to get up in the morning and wash my car. Okay, let's go.